Hey, we're hanging out with Vic Sheely, the head coach at HBU. Vic, congratulations, a victory. You got a whole new looking team here in 2022. Congratulations, that was quite a win in Northern Colorado. Well, you know, I thought our guys did a lot of good things. You know, there's a lot of areas that we need to improve. But, uh, you know, we, we need to put 2021 behind us. It was a tough, tough year in a lot of ways. And we had played well in 2019 and 2020, and so we kind of fell off. But uh, I think we have an, an opportunity now to, to really come out and, and hopefully just continue to stack good wins. Man, you are the, uh, I don't know if you're the president of the Portal Club or not, but <laughs> you have 44 new players plus 16 redshirt guys. So you have a 60 new players on this team. You know, what's really happened is uh, the FCS level has now kind of become a feeder system for the FBS level uh, simply because they can take a kid from our program now as opposed to having to take a junior college kid. And so, you know, the, and, 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 and that's nationwide. You're, you're seeing that trend. And so it's uh, kind of the, the, the new norm for us. So we have to uh, kind of change our model of recruiting, which we feel like we did a good job of uh, this past season. And um, a, lot, a, a lot, lot of new faces, but a lot of guys who really love football and they've really bought into our system. Oh my gosh! So yeah, you got some players now. Yeah. Now, some guys making plays on the field. I got to ask you about that last play the defense made to lock it up. That was incredible. I'm watching the game and watching Northern Colorado just wear you down and push you back. And your guys stepped up, made the play, the strip sack, and the scoop and score. Tell, tell me your emotions when you saw that play out. Well. It it was the longest fourth quarter that, in my career, and uh, the, the the heat and the altitude really affected us on defense. Fourth quarter, we, we played well the first three quarters, but uh, you know, whenever you need a, a big time guy make a big time play uh, at critical moments, we kind of saw that happen. Uh, Jedex Hunt, one of our transfers, came in from Cornell, smart guy, that's a great athlete, and. Uh, he made a, a tough play look very ordinary, and it's nice to have good players. Oh my gosh, I guess so. Congratulations on the win. Now you've got a, you've got an opponent. You get to play at home this week. Yeah, you know it, it's exciting to come back. You know Houston's such a great football town, and you know the buzz around town when you play at home is just different. And uh, uh, so it's, it's it's great. It's it's nice to play in the field that you practice on every day. There's a familiarity with some of our freshmen. I think they will actually respond. You know, even even more comfortable. Uh, but because of that, and uh, you know, we're really trying to create a cult culture here where uh, football is important on this campus, and where people are excited. And I think playing at home and, and, and winning at home really, really does that. Yeah. Well, these guys are excited. Let's hear from some of your players their thoughts after breaking that losing streak. Even though they might not have been on the team, winning at Northern Colorado was a big deal for them. Very important. They had great effort up there. I just knew when I got on the field, I was gonna have to do some, do something different. Be telling that can end the game, man. Take us home safely. We call ourselves the Dirty Boys on the D-line, so everything we do is grimy. It's uh, hard work, hard work ethic. We pride ourselves on being the hardest workers on the defense. So late fourth quarter, something had to happen. And when you make a play, you just have to make a play. It was a great feeling, um, especially, you know, all the work that we put in, all the things that we did on the offseason to make sure that we prepared for the moment. It was a great feeling to finally get that um, recognition for what we've been through that we were already um, going to accomplish as we worked. So I feel like it was just a great testament of um, the culture change and a lot of things that we switched around and um, were implementing over the offseason and stuff like that. So it was a great feeling, definitely. All right, Vic, go get them Saturday night and uh, keep the wins coming. Well, that, 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 that's the plan. You know, you, you, you work hard to win, not, not to lose. And so our guys are restraining. And I think so, sometimes on hot days like today, they're a little suffering. But, but that's part of kind of growing up as a football team. Yeah, I guess so. Vic Sheely, the head coach at HBU. Keep it going, Coach. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching.